Hi, I'm Seema Kohli and I'm an artist based in uh, New Delhi. An artist studio is a space where the alchemy of the process takes place actually because we are sort of imbibing all kind of data, all kind of materials, smells, tastes, visuals, narratives, everything, everything is imbibed in us and this is the place where we pour it out. My studio and home have never been two separate spaces. Sometimes you could say that I'm living in my studio, so I call it my studio home or a home studio. There are no territories between the separate studio and home spaces. My books, my library flows into my home and my thoughts follow my concepts in these books in different areas of my home. Most of my days which are there in the studio, I am here by 9, 9.30, 9 o'clock I think I am here and I leave the studio only in the evening at about 7.38. I sort of find myself very comfortable having all my meals here, probably reading, relaxing, having my afternoon nap and of course working here, sketching, painting. And also, most of my negotiations, the household negotiations are also done here. I feel very, very comfortable once I am on this chair. I think my mind starts reeling, it starts thinking. I enjoy this accessibility to my material at all times. As I have always had my studio either very close to my house, maybe a five minutes walk or within my home premises. This proximity I think gives me a chance to interact with my family, my whole functioning. I definitely like having my studio at the top floor as I like to immerse myself watching the blue sky, the trees swing to the gentle breeze or whispering or rustling of leaves, you know, sharing secrets of the wandering clouds. So the studio is not only this space, but the studio is anywhere where we are moving around. The visuals, the people, the experiences, Everything becomes a part of our, uh, you know, expression. So the past year has been uh, actually a year of insight and gratitude and I don't know if my work changed, but my format certainly changed. Uh, I feel that um, the whole uh, idea that I was, uh, you know, uh, you, we were always in a kind of, uh, it was not a rush that we were in, but there was always uh, some kind of an urgency uh, to get into the mode of our works which sort of changed during this period, which was very interesting. I uh, had started a lot of my large format works, which were uh, not completed, which I've actually completed about six or seven large format works within a year, which is amazing because there was no social obligation, there was no stress about anything. And uh, I had uh, the privilege uh, to be in my own space and to be creating. And for an artist, I think that is the biggest blessing.
every time probably that I am uh, working on any any painting, any imagery, installation, or even uh, experiential performance, you know, it is that it it's you are there. You're watching yourself create this. Unassuming, you are not even sure what you're going to be creating. But you watching that process, I think that that is what is inspiring. My work is primarily a celebration of the feminine form and energy, the source of the twin forces of creation and destruction. Now time, which is called which is infinite, becomes finite because of kala, art, to my understanding. They are both central to my practice. I use time as a medium which is extended, assembled and captured in all my media. Shakti, the divine cosmic energy manifested through the feminine embodiment, has been extensively explored, engaged with, and re-narrativized and retold through my works. Music does something similar to me. It transports me into an ethereal space. You know, I'd like to talk about the bowels uh, of West Bengal. They have a tradition of Madhukuri or sacred begging. For me, I too feel like that the a honey gatherer as an artist, taking the essences of my convictions. All artists should follow their heart. It is an expression which has been used and done with, but it is the truth uh, because every artist has a very separate and a very special journey that they have no artists, no lives, even if they're not artists, no lives are same. So, uh, and uh, you cannot follow somebody's path and you can get inspired, you can just feel okay, maybe, but inspired by lives, I feel uh, lives are inspirational because life in itself is so unique, it is so special to each and every eye, to each and every emotion that it can be expressed in a very, very different way, each one each one's life and each one's expression. You know, even the mediums that we use, maybe we are using oil paints, but the kind of, the quantity of what linseed and turpentine that we would probably add will probably change the whole image. And the same goes in all kind of mediums, whether we are working with bronze, we are working with acrylics. So uh, I feel, Every artist should create their own language. This is, this is a secret language we share between ourselves and our work. Let the people guess. It is a game that I play all the time and this is the only message I can give. You know, like make it as exciting for yourself and it will be exciting for the other. And. Uh, this is all. Just follow your path, create your own language, create your own expression, create your own mediums and you will find something very special happening your way. What that painting will give back to you is something so, so special. <laughs>